kind of blended the other the other one the other one <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a video for y'all today all about this palette right here. This is the Arabesque palette by Bad Habit Beauty. So we're gonna do what we normally do in these videos. We'll talk about the pricing, we'll look at the packaging, we'll look at some swatches, I'll talk about the formula of these shadows and just how they are to work with in my opinion. And then I'll also kind of give you a little wrap up and my overall review on this palette. And then I'll also show you a little mini tutorial on this eye look. So yeah. Let's get to it. So starting with pricing and packaging, the price of this palette is $16, which is a little bit higher than some other Bad Habit Beauty palettes. And I know people kind of have differing opinions on that price point, but $16 is the price point. You can use discount code, so that saves you a little bit of money. But as far as the packaging goes, it is beautiful. Just a gorgeous like color scheme to it. The lettering on it is raised, so nice little detail there. The palette itself is the same situation, same sort of design raised lettering, just really beautiful, nice weighty feeling packaging, same as other Bad Habit Beauty palettes. And then you open it up and it has a nice functional mirror in there, just good packaging. I really do like the way that they do their packaging and their designs are always really beautiful. And as far as what you're getting in here, this is an overall very neutral palette and it kind of has um, some of both cool and warm tones in here. You've got some mauves, you've got some kind of peachy shades, but overall it's just that soft, sweet, neutrally sort of color scheme to it. So pretty, I love the color scheme. If you're a color lover, this would not be the palette for you, but if you are a neutral lover, this would totally be the palette for you. And then as far as mattes and shimmers, there are one, let me not confuse myself, let me get it to where I can actually see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mattes, so a lot of mattes in here, and then the rest are shimmery shades. And there are a lot of kind of um, like good, staple blending shade colors in here, like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So I think this would make a great companion palette with other palettes as well. So it's definitely a standalone palette, but I think would also make that great companion palette. Now for some swatches, we're gonna start at the top left side of the palette. This one is Avant. This one is On Point. This is Tutu. Ballet Slippers, I love that one. Interlude, this is one of my favorites in the palette. Love that one. This one is, what does that say? Relève, relieve, 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 I think. I don't know. Relieve, relève, I don't know ballet dance terms. <laughs> Something like that. This one is melodrama. This one is satin. This is pirouette. Again, one of my favorites in the palette. I love that one. This is waltz. This is Nutcracker. That one's a nice metallic-y shade. That next one is Grand Plie. Grand Plie. Grand Plie. This one is Esmeralda. And then that last one, that super dark black, is Leotards. Nice matte black. So there are all the swatches. Then as far as the formula goes on these shadows and just how they are to work with, you know, I'd say overall, same sort of scenario as other Bad Habit Beauty palettes. If you've used Bad Habit Beauty shadows in the past, you know that they are just a very soft formula. So same sort of scenario in here, but what I do notice about this palette in particular is it seems really consistent across the shadows. Um, usually the mattes seem pretty consistent across other palettes that I've tried from them, so same situation here, but sometimes the metallic-y shades can be a little bit different. Like some of them can be a little bit more loosely packed or something like that. But overall, these seem pretty consistent across the palette, but it's really, really pretty. So let's keep talking about the formula before I go on to what I think about the palette. Um, I would just say when you're using Bad Habit Beauty shadows, you just have to be really delicate in your application technique. And it kind of comes into what are you going to think about this palette? is do you want to have to do that with shadows? That's really gonna be a personal preference. Um, I would say it's not my favorite kind of a shadow to work with because I'm not always so delicate with my makeup, so I kinda have to tweak my application technique, but I always love the shadow looks, the you know finished looks that come out of these palettes typically. So same thing with this, I love the finished look. I just have to tweak how I use them. I have to tap off my brush, use very little, not dig my brush in there, clean up afterwards. So I mean, it does take some extra work put in there, but 
I love makeup, so I really don't overall mind that. Is it my favorite sort of formula of shadows? No, but I think for the price point, I think it's still really, really good. I love this collection of colors. I love the finished looks. It's just a beautiful, neutral palette, and I love that this one seems more consistent. I love all the mid-tone shades in this palette. So overall review on this palette, I love it. I do think it takes some extra tweaking, same as other Bad Habit Beauty palettes, just with that soft formula, but I really love it. I think it's gorgeous. I love the collection of colors. I could keep going on babbling about it, but I think it's a really, really good palette. It's honestly one of my favorites that I've tried from them. So that's my overall review on this palette. So now we are going to get into this tutorial. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've already applied some eyeshadow primer and set that. So I'm gonna start with some of Satin on just a big um, fluffy crease brush. This is a Cosette S175. I'm gonna tap off my brush and then I'm just gonna apply that into my crease and transition area. Now I'm gonna take some Pirouette on another crease brush. This is a Cosette D220 brush. I'm gonna tap off my brush once again. Apply that more into my crease, not as high. Just want a little bit of that kind of mauve color just peeking through. Now I wanna play with a couple different colors. So I'm gonna get some of Nutcracker on a flat concealer brush. And I'm just gonna build that up on my lids. Just kinda wanna see what this one looks like first and then I'm gonna put something over it. That's pretty and it does build on itself. You can see it more on this side, but I'm gonna use a little bit of setting spray and see what it looks like with that. Ooh, yes. Just brought out more of the metallic-y look and more of that kind of pinky not really coppery, but just a super metallic pink. I do have some fallout, so you can see that. So these are definitely soft shadows, like I said. Now I'm gonna get some of On Point on a really tiny brush. This is a Real Techniques Detailer brush. And I am gonna apply this wet, because I want to really have an intense inner corner. So I'm just gonna build that up on the inner corner of my eye. I don't think I picked the best shade for this because I think this one, this particular shade is meant to be a little bit more soft in just the way it looks. Now I wanna play with a couple of the deeper shades. I'm gonna get some of Ballet Slippers on a tiny little crease brush. Just apply some of this in my outer corner. Then with that same brush, I'm gonna get a little bit of Melodrama and apply that kind of in the same area, just right on the very, very outer corner. Kind of blended the other, the other one, the other one <laughs> a little bit further over, but I'm gonna keep this one more just right out there. And for my brow bone, I'm just gonna get the tiniest little bit of Avant with a Royal and Lane Nickel shader brush and just clean up that brow bone. Now I'm just gonna apply some liner and mascara on my upper lashes and lash line, and I will be right back. Okay, I also applied some concealer, powder, and bronzer. So now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna get some of Interlude on a BH Cosmetics number 10 brush. And I'm gonna tap off my brush, and then apply that to my lower lash line. I'm gonna soften that out a little bit with a little bit of satin on the bottom of it, just kind of soften the bottom of that line. And then in the very outer corner, I'm gonna get some of Esmeralda on that same brush, just for a little bit of dimension there. And now I'm just gonna finish up with some mascara on my lower lashes. Alright guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about this palette. If you've been eyeing swatches or if you picked it up, what are your thoughts and opinions? I'd love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!